hello, my beautiful, beautiful parents. Welcome to my new game called District 17 Player's Guide. This is going to be replacing the whole like divine counterparts thing like I've been telling my regular audience for any of you who've been around. For the rest of you who ain't, don't, don't worry about it because I just started this. So. Excuse me. Everyone's going to be confused equally, including myself. So this is going to be a really fun game, right? Speaking of games, what is this game? Well, this is where you really don't know what to do, because you don't want to take the red pill, you don't want to take the blue pill, because either way, you're conforming to this matrix, this uh, enclosure we're all trapped in. It just, you know, has us settling for one thing, you know, like they said you could be anything you wanted to be, you know, except for free. Not to do shit, not to pay shit. Not to be in relationships, not to get married, not to be social, not to be like everybody else, not to be normal, not to be part of one of the other cogs in the machine, despite the fact that no matter what we do, we always will be, one way or another. Oh, so when I was begging you to be in my lap before, no, but now it's cool. Okay, well, you're laying down. You gotta lay down, dude, seriously. Sorry, kittens in my lap. So anyway, guys, that's the game we're going to play. We're going to go over everything we need to go over for the player. We're going to talk about the NPCs you might be dealing with along the way. So, let us begin. Kitten. Go over there, sweetie. Okay. So... First card is the energy guiding you right now, which is the Emperor. You're in power. You are now in control. You finally just, you know, snapped out and, be, and realized, hey, I don't want to do this shit anymore. What influences that energy right now is the Seven of Cups. What the NPCs see, or for anybody who doesn't know an NPC is like a non-playable character right just like hmm. kind of like in world of warcraft or any other video game where there are just random characters they can either talk to you say one line quims and just be on their day or they give you missions and shit like that that's what an npc is it's a non-playable character a character who is not playing the actual game right what is their aggro trigger Aggro is what's going to get these NPCs' attention, much like World of Warcraft. You get so close to them, they're alerted to your presence. So, this is what's going to trigger them to go into aggro mode and want to come after you. Queen of Pen Qu Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Reverse, right? The cheat codes and walkthroughs that you're dealing with right now? Two of Cups right here. Cheat codes and walkthroughs, things that, like, you either have systems to skip over, take advantage of, you know, like, find better methods of escaping if you need to. Right? Actually, I'll spread these out a little bit more like this. Yes. Let's see. Hidden, le hidden levels, bonuses, or influences. The High Priestess Reverse right here. Hidden treasures and enemies. Queen of Cups Reverse, Final Boss and their weaknesses, King of Pentacles. Any spoils, drops, and rewards we can find? The Queen of Pentacles, counterpart to the King of Pentacles, right? I hope this is making sense to some of y'all, but if not, we'll go through it and see how we can make it make sense, right? The next level spoilers, or things that are coming up in the next level, will be... Ten of Pentacles. Not ten, wait, that's the Ace of Pentacles. My bad. So, that's what we got for you, players. We're just uh, figuring out how this spread's going to go for all of us, and modify from there. As soon as I'm a little bit more comfortable with it, we'll be able to figure out what to do with it, right? Right. I'm going to use the Crow deck to elaborate, and then, like, my Shadowscape to clarify. Good deal, good deal. So let's see, players. 
my dear beautiful parents. Now, as an awoken person, or a person who is woke, you also realize there needs to be a period of time where you are paranoid as fuck. And if you're just beginning with these levels, well, you're already there. And there's already a card that's flipped over. Seven of coin. Looks like you're starting with a little bit of a runner-up right here. Or at least a one-up mushroom. Or that green mushroom that, like... Mario would always eat it and it gave him an extra life, but I don't know if it was just acid or I don't know. Could be any of them, but it looks like some of you are reaping some rewards that you have spent as you're going on this woke journey, which is good because you got the emperor right here. Can't have much control if you don't have any way of paying for that control. Right? Right. So that energy that's guiding you right now, players, is the emperor. You are taking control of this avatar you're running on the 3D. Maneuvering through the 5D with it, if you will, as well. Um, some of you are already at this period where you're learning how to master so much with manifestation. But you're also realizing you're really not wanting part of this game anymore. And if you are going to stick with the game, well... You want control right here. Let's see what's up with this emperor. King of Swords reverse. Mmm. Looks like your foe is a little bit of a fucking psychopath. Players, that's your main adversary right now. Yep, yeah, there are what? 13, even though there's really just 12 listed, um, forms of enemy you cannot see. Egoism, arrogance, conceit, selfishness, greed, lust, intolerance, anger, lying, gossiping, cheating, and slander. Now, technically, that's 12, but everyone says 13, so it's like whatever. It's whatever. Uh, this is one of them right here. This is a form of pride, if you will. Um, someone letting their ego get to them too much, this King of Swords, coming off very harsh with that energy. You also might use that energy against your adversaries as well. Now, what influences this energy? Actually, if I'm looking at this right here, players, you're kind of aggravated because, like, what's influencing you to have the energy of the Emperor, who's being a little bit of... Wow, okay, yeah, this is the Control Freak. It seems like this control freak, whoever's like trying to pressure you in this shit, because he actually has shown up a couple times in my reading so far, the Emperor with the King of Swords Reverse. Not always together, but they have been showing up a lot. This adversary is guiding you in your direction, wherever it is you need to go. Um, kind of like how Agent Smith was leading Neo into going out of the Matrix by chasing him around and shit. And the energy influencing this is like either being all out of options or the options you can take are uh, not so great. Like, it's like none of these are here for you, so it's like you just kind of want out of it. Like, make your own new system of sorts, right? Queen of Coins. And the Queen of Coin also sits in the spoils, item drops, and rewards. This is like a, uh, kind of, think of it like a level up, if you will. Like you move on to the next level once you obtain this right here. And this is one of the options you're trying to create. You want to manifest your own thing, players. Now what the NPCs will see if they witness you start doing this is you're riding into victory. Moving forward, moving ahead, right? But you're not delivering any sort of news to them about the scenario as well. You're not telling them anything. With the page of coin reverse, you're not having any sort of expression towards them. Um, now, what their aggro trigger is, is... Or what will agitate them? Queen of Swords. Someone acting like a scorned woman cutting people off. She's also the counterpart to this 
king of swords as well. They're both reversed, so they're both fucking crazy. I think she showed up with these two as well at one time as well. And somebody is worried that this person is going to take a bolt of action. So, my dear players, it seems like if you take the action to move without saying a word, to try to get to be this queen of coins, someone who's blissful and comforted, able to manifest, create things on her own, um, once they see that you're not sending any messages or letting that be known, or you start getting on the move, it, what will happen is... They will lose their shit and probably take a bold set of actions towards you. Probably maneuver to try to create some sort of enterprise or partnership, if you will, trying to make some sort of choice for one pillar to another. Let's see. The cheat codes and walkthroughs with the situation. Some of the NPCs know that you're trying to separate from them somehow, players. And they will make it as hard as possible for you to do that, it seems. So, be advised and... Wow, really? Either you came apart... Or you just decided to die. I think my bulb just decided to die, but I think you guys can still see. I'll just have to replace it later. No biggie, right? Let's just unplug this for a bit, and we will continue on. That's kind of a bummer, though, but that's okay. We'll just keep going with it as we do. Apparently, they don't want you to see what's up next. Anyway, let's continue on, players. The hidden levels, bonuses, or influences, the queen, or the high priestess, right? Someone's getting downloads, but they aren't, like, you know, letting that shit be known. You are hiding what it is you already recognize or know. And you will move into battle with a strength and hunger. Like, hmm, there's something that's driving you mentally. There's a hunger. There's an intention with you. Oh, God. Everything just flew, you know, like. Someone miscalculated, like, hanging around for no reason. So now there's some creativity in trying to end some sort of success for somebody, right? This kind of sucks. Was not expecting the light just to blow like that, but oh well. It happens. Dear players, you might be being called to um, be savvy and be wise in how you deal with all of this Five of Wands, disorder and turmoil, right? Use your divinity. Because some of you are divine creatures, and let's be clear, uh, a lot of di divine creatures are not welcomed on this plane. A lot of them get murdered. And you have to be a little bit more careful, a little bit more savvy, even use your emotions to figure out what's going on. Um, you might have to come together with those who are above you who fly, like your ancestors or guides, in order to be able to shape shift and change in order to move to where it is you need to go. Um, some maybe even hide parts of yourself from those who um, want to squander whatever wealth's coming your way. There are a lot of bounties and gifts that might be coming from the past, but remember, uh, we got the tower going on here, so, you know, things, it, it might be a little bit rough. Let's see. Whatever it is you're not sharing, it's influencing you to have a lot of intensity and hunger. Um, the knowledge of what's coming down to you is um, bringing the NPCs towards you as well, because they know something. They want to know what you're knowing. They want to know what knowledge you have. That's why they're coming with great enterprise to come back after you, my dear players. Uh... Hidden treasures and enemies. There's a queen of cups right here. She's reversed. She's crazy as well. Hey, kitten. I see you getting up on my lap. Please don't scratch me again. That sucks, man. Ah! The emperor reverse. Hmm. All 
right, let's see, player. This person is a control freak. You might be narrowed when it comes to what it is you do and do not try to control. What are you... I, I have to shuffle. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. But this person wants supremacy. They want to be your overlord. With the capital over, you know? Like, they do not care that you're trying to take control of your circumstances. Even though it might feel as though you're a little bit too controlling with your circumstances. You might need to take a break. You might need to chill a little bit on what it is you're creating. Because your desperation to get somewhere, to move forward, is drawing the interest of the NPCs. And now they're craving some sort of info. And they're just whistling away, calling this emperor over here to snatch them up and then find you as well. Whoever this possible queen of swords is might be um, an, an enemy you're dealing with. King of pentacles right here. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It really doesn't matter. It's the final boss and their weakness, right? This could be a person who is a provider. Or just the person in charge. Or the person who takes care of the money. Banker, judge, almost, I feel like. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, huh? Their weakness is running out of money. Dear players, this person looks like they got a lot of shit, but there's no new start when it comes with them. They, their spoils are running out, if you will. Speaking of spoils... We got spoils, item drops, and rewards, and it looks like the reward is being able to manifest things on your own, dear players. You got a few on that one, actually. We got the star reverse. You don't want to reach out to others and bring them heaven. You want to start off with a new slate, become a wandering explorer with the fool. But currently, you are still trapped and confined within whatever it is, and that's probably what's got you all nettled. Just the tat, right here. You lay right there. There you go. Ooh, your claws. Your claws. Here, bless these while you're here. There you go. That's good. Thought I heard someone lock in my door for a minute, which is like, that'd be weird. I am just dropping everything today. Oh my goodness. Things are just going horribly, horribly wrong, my dear audience. But anyway, let's go ahead and clarify some of these, right? Or at least get some advice on what to do. So what can you do, player, about like the energy influencing right you right now? You might be feeling like a little bit too... In you might be going a little bit crazy when it comes to how you guard what it is you control like you know you're narrowing your eyes you're shooting people down you're not possibly accepting any sort of guidance or attendance they might be giving you right now and you might just be having the wrong idea about how to go about these things maybe you're looking at things from a wrong perspective the energy influencing you right now That is the Emperor Reverse. Okay, so yeah, it's like your final boss is what's influencing you to feel like you don't have any other choice in this. But it's like it's driving you almost like if it, it it's like, um, it's almost like you're kind of freaked out over your Agent Smith. But it's like... Your fear of your Agent Smith is what's drawing your Agent Smith in, if you will. If any of this makes sense, if it doesn't make any sense, that's okay. You just try to follow along as best you can, right? Now, what's up with these NPCs? What advice or advantage can you give us about the NPCs, please? Um, they're smelling that fresh start you're looking for with the Ace of Wands. Uh players you know they're aggros right here when they come to try to yeah 
They try to get you to let your guard down about what it is you're trying to do. I forgot all about this tenth one. The next level spoilers, but we'll get that in the end. Fuck it. It's not gonna matter. It really won't. Uh, let's see. The cheat codes and walk through. Yeah, they're gonna make it difficult for you. And what'll most likely happen is, is like, um... They will make it hard for you to want to separate. But then if you don't separate, you'll find out that it was all just like a game. It was all a ruse. None of it mattered. They were making it up. Like, there was no apologies, no love there. It's all just a game, right? The hidden levels, bonuses, or influences... Like, they know that, like, you're getting downloads and they are very much wanting that information and will most likely use the past against you players. So you have to be careful, you know? Like, these people want information from you about what it is you're doing. And they will go by any means to figure it out. There could even be a particular person right here who's um, engaging in some craziness in order to figure that out, in order to snatch you up. Might be using the past against you to influence you to possibly talk. Or at least trigger you, one of the two. Hidden uh, treasures and enemies, this queen... Wait, is that what this is? Yes. The queen of uh, cups with the emperor verse right here. Definitely not trying to work on things. Um, this person will just swoop in to fuck your shit up. Not even work with things. However, we have the final boss and their weakness. Right? The person might not have a lot of money, but they present themselves have a lot of money. They're very much mentally troubled, whoever this final boss is that you might be dealing with. Could be an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be. Just somebody who looks like they're stable and know what they're doing. The spoils, item drops, and rewards right here. You know. Um, huh. It's like, some of you are trapped and confined in a relationship that did not make you happy. Or some connection that didn't make you happy. Like, that's why you're not communicating. You want to flip and be free out of this. Even though you'll still, you'll know that you'll still be trapped and confined. It's almost like you're recognizing that no connection will really, um, bring you the happiness you once believed. I'll drop one more on that and then we'll move on to... The next level spoilers. So we know what's next up. Devil Reverse. It was not a good Like, someone finally decided to grab the key, get out, and take their heart back from the devil. Could have been dealing with a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, though. This is like an all signs, all energy. Get up. Also, this is timeless for anybody who is curious as well. Spoilers and rewards. We got the Ace of Pentacles up here. Now, the King of Pentacles down here did not have this Ace of Pentacles. It was um, out of his hands, if you will, and it troubled him. He looks up at the sky wondering, what the fuck, God? That's what he says. <coughs> Which, I don't know how wise that is, because, you know, like, you're kind of responsible for making your own shit, but it's whatever. Those in the game don't always recognize how the game works. With his Ace of Pentacles... There might be a bad judgment call that comes with it, or a desire not to resurrect something once this offer comes up to you, player. Right? Remember, this is a spoiler. This is not part of this week, but it will be part of, like, what happens within the next week, right? And we'll draw two for that. What's up with this, uh, bad judgment call or someone not waking up? Might be a magician in this somewhere. And the Queen of Swords. S 
somebody, either you players, or you might be end up dealing with an NPC who looks like they manifest stuff, but they also cut things out, too. You might be having to make a choice between those two next week. But, you guys, let me know what you think of this. And I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.